Greetings, everybody. Hope you're well. Uh, my name is Sanjeev Venkatram, and I'm with the Microsoft Business Applications and Power Platform community out here in Singapore. And we're also APAC wide across ASEAN and uh, parts of uh, Asia as well. So, what I'm going to do is to give you an idea as to how we actually hook up a, um, a, an Arduino and bring data from sensors such as a force sensor here into Microsoft Excel. So with that, we've got a, a picture of the connection here. So I've got an Arduino hooked up through USB into a PC. And then the force sensor, the output of which it's got two outputs, is connected to the Arduino. So you've got the positive in red going to the 5 volts uh, pin in the Arduino. And then the ground pin being connected to one of the connections is actually to the data cable and that goes to the A0 pin and then there is the blue line that's actually the ground going to the ground connection in Arduino and in between the two we've got about a 100k ohm uh, resistor all right so this is kind of the layout of the architecture and then if I go over to Arduino we've got this uh, code a very simple code that has got the analog sensor variable and we are streaming it at about a 9600 baud rate and then basically the variable captures the analog reading from A0 and then sends it to the digital sensor to convert it to digital units. So 0 to 5 volts here is uh, equal to 0 to 1023 digital units, all right? And if we go over to the Excel data streamer section, if I were to go to File, Options, and then to the Add-ins, and we can find the data streamer here as a com add-in, Microsoft Data Streamer for Excel, right? And you get a tab here, and in the tab you can connect to devices. I have here connected to Arduino. You just say connect device, and it gives you an option to connect to the device that's hooked up. And I'm connected to Arduino. And then you can actually start streaming data and stop data whenever you need, and then record data if you actually need the hard values. Now in this case, it gives me, uh, data streamer gives me the time field and the first channel, which gives me the uh, digital units. Now clearly, if this is a force sensor, I'm actually converting these digital units to force, graph force actually. Um, and if I look at the calibration curve here, so for these number of digital units, I get the grams force, corresponding grams force, and then when I plot this, it's actually a, almost a linear curve, good enough for me for now. And then equals y equals mx plus c, so the m component, the constant here, or the slope here is 1.0. 495 times to digital unit and the intercept is 857 right so if i take this formula plug it in here i get my grams reading for whatever is actually on the force sensor now right and that's about it uh, it's a fairly simple thing to do nothing terribly complicated one just needs to be aware of the calibration and that's about it so once again my name is sanjeev venkatram and i do posts on linkedin connecting Microsoft business applications as, uh, as an example, Power Apps and Power Pl uh, BI and Flow to sensors such as IoT sensors um, and, uh, you know, across different devices and, uh, you know, have a bunch of fun. As an example, my if I were to go to my post here, the latest one I've done actually involves um, a model wind tunnel and then I'm getting downforce on an inverted aerofoil into Excel data streamer and controlling the wind tunnel the propeller with power apps all right so head back to Excel so that's my um, you know uh, profile on LinkedIn and I'm part of the APAC uh, business applications and public platform community which is a fabulous community out in uh, here in Singapore and then my sincere thanks to Sam at Ranyi, um, who runs his own community, and he's a fantastic gentleman. Has got um, uh, a set of great, uh, you know, content going on Microsoft business applications and IoT, etc. And there is his uh, URL. 
and the question um, came up on uh, this session as an example on one of his uh, shows. So I'm merely sort of responding to um, his show. All right, with that, I hope you found it useful. I trust you found it useful. And here's wishing you many fun-filled hours of uh, Power Platform and IoT. Thank you very much.